Here's Danny, and today I want to do comment to comments. Not the mean ones, even though I got enough to choose from. No, I want to react to reactions of my Does Battlefield 1 lack content video that I did yesterday. Explaining a few things, giving my thoughts, and trying to think why DICE has done certain things. Anyway, let's start. Jason asks, why would you ask this more than a year after release? To do a comparison like this, all content has to be announced first, right? Seems fair to me, at least. Agent Orange asks, why is this game only getting 4 expansion packs and the other games 5? So the content is less. While there is indeed less DLCs, the DLCs that we got are bigger, with two of them releasing with 6 maps. And one of them with 12 or 11 weapons. Which is more than we got in any Battlefield 4 DLC. Resulting in the same amount of maps and content that you would expect from a normal 4 map DLC we know from the previous games. There's also been a few comments saying that it doesn't matter if BF4 has 10 or 1000 guns and that only a handful get used and the rest is trash. Well, it's definitely true, there's a handful of guns being massively overused, especially stuff like the Helrigo, Automatico and Bar for example, but is that really different from any other Battlefield game? I remember only getting killed by the AEK, M16 and the Ace family of weapons. It's not that much different. Also, the rest isn't really trash, everything just got its own niche and it's really good at that. I guess some niches are better than others though. For example, the 12G auto shotgun has the best 2 hit kill range of any shotgun and has a great fire rate. Or of course the Huot, which has the best accuracy of any automatic weapon and that without bipod. But for some reason it's massively underused. Another comment I saw was it lacks factions. Uh, last time I checked, we have 3 had 2 of them, we have 4 or 3, and Battlefield 2 has slightly more. Meanwhile, Battlefield 1 has 11, and that is a crazy amount of teams and models. So I don't really think it lacks factions, just it lacks the factions you want to see. The neon white one says, but BF3 had more customization per weapon, which might make it feel like it has more content. Well, partly true, how much was really there? Generally, if you weren't running Heavy Barrel and a Crip, your gun didn't really perform as well as it should have. Which was mostly paired with the Cobra sights. There really isn't that much more outside of a laser for better hip fire, some weapons with extended mech and a suppressor or bipod. Anyway, that is all I have for now. This was Danny, and I'll see you on the battlefield.